Oh, no, no. Ooh, ooh. It's so freaking fast, dude. Look at how fast they are. So I've been doing a little bit of exploring here on the Pteranodon, just trying to find some more metal and more materials around the area. And dude, I found a spot where I want to move to. We're going to move pretty much right up there to the top of what seems to be pretty much like a, a mountain, I guess. Uh, there's actually this like winding pathway that goes all the way up, which is cool. But we're going to quickly fly back up there with the Dillo because I got to move all this stuff all the way up there. So let's just grab the Dillo. Actually, you know what? We should stop for some stamp first. Uh, we're going to grab our Dillo and just bring it up that way. But we're going to have to bring up the trike or trike Xenoceratops manually by walking it up there because unfortunately i can't pick that thing up although hang on i might be able to make a cryopod oh dude i could totally make a cryopod i thought i might have to walk it manually up but let's see what do they even cost can i do i have materials nearby for this okay hang on eight palmer for okay we could probably make that we've got a little bit of time let me just grab just a crap ton of stuff i can't remember exactly everything that it said that i needed but i might be able to make that that could be great because then I wouldn't actually have to walk that thing manually because those things take quite a long time to move around. So let's see. I needed element dust, uh, oil for sure. Did I need crystal? I think uh, electronic polymer probably, which we have a ton of organic polymer. Um, is this everything? I feel like this might be mostly everything, but I feel like we're missing something. Let's see. Yes, this is perfect. We'll just make one of these. This is so much better than my idea. Anyway, guys, go ahead and hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It really does help me out, and I do appreciate it, of course. And we need hide and fiber. Oh, my God. We got to not lose all those materials in there. I really don't want to lose them. Uh, hide and fiber. That's okay. We should have those either in the smithy or in the chest. I'm going to check the chest, though. We've got 20 health left on that drop, so let's see. Uh hide and fiber okay cool we just we're just gonna make one of these probably because i don't think we have enough time for two um yeah this is so much better i love the fact that cryopods are now in drops uh it just makes it so much easier to just get a crap ton of these things even though it's kind of annoying to if to craft them like one at a time oh we actually won't have enough uh crystal for another one so there we go we have one cryopod that's good enough for the moment all righty well oh my god what's attacking what is that What's attacking? Oh, no, 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 no. What is that thing? Oh, my God. It's a freaking Alpha Raptor. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. No. Dillo, follow me. Oh, Xenoceratops. I'm so sorry. The cryopod dream. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was literally making a cryopod for him. And then he died. <laughs> Why can't I have nice things? Let's leave you up there, buddy. Uh, we need to kill him now. We should kill that Alpha Raptor. It's only a level 72. Which doesn't sound that bad. Do I have anything for... Okay, I need some water. I'm gonna just stop over here really quick. Is that a Raptor? Okay, we gotta watch out for that. Oh my god. <laughs> Rip Xenoceratops. We didn't even get to name him yet. Um, I asked for name suggestions for the Tyranodon and the Dillo and the Xenoceratops in the last episode. Uh, but unfortunately, that hasn't gone out yet, so he doesn't even have a name, and now he's dead. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. I didn't even see that thing. Uh, what the hell is that griffin doing? Uh, by the way, there are griffins on this map, which is interesting. We could use those, uh for getting around maybe a little bit i'm not sure if there's any snow else though don't think so anyway there's this giant pathway up this mountain here and you guys will see there's like really nice areas around here there's also a unicorn there but that's about the 17th unicorn i've seen on this server so far so not sure what that's all about but uh up here you basically walk oh my god dimorphs uh-oh uh-oh those are the jurassic park dimorphs which i've heard are very vicious I need to get away from them because they will surely kill me. So th anyway, this is where I want to live. Are they still following me? Oh my God, they are. Oh, rip Dillo. Can I get away? Oh my God, no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, why? Oh God, why are they so mean? Turn it on, no. Oh, it can't even hit me, man. <laughs> oh, this is not a. This is not fun. This is not okay. 
This is not okay. Dreadnought, come to me. I'll protect you. No! Oh God! Oh. oh my God, he's so low on health. Is he even gonna survive this? He might. Freaking Jurassic Park creatures are OP. And there's a swarm of them and everything. It's not safe. Nowhere safe. Alpha Raptor's eating my things. What the hell is that thing? A giant Smilodon. It's also a level 180 and that's really annoying. Oh my God. Giant Smilodon. I remember Smilodons. I can't remember if I've ever seen a giant Smilodon. I think I remember hearing about those. Hello. No, this is not okay. Everything is dangerous. Everywhere is dangerous. Oh my God, you're so... Ah! <laughs> Dude! Oh my God, why is there so many of them? How do I get away? Oh my God. Dude, though, this is not okay. I, I need to cryopod my guy. It's like a swarm. I need to cryopod this thing or heal it or something. Um... Oh my god, dude, those things are so vicious. They just murdered that freaking Archie. Wow, okay. I've never come up against those before. I think they were added, like, pretty late into my series. So I never actually came up against, like, a swarm like that. And my dude's out of, uh, Stam. Can I land somehow here? Okay, we're gonna have to jump. I'm okay. <laughs> Dude, that's not okay. Oh my god, land. Wow. Yeah, no, that's that's not okay. Uh not enjoying that. Um Trant or Dimorphs OP. That is not anything I ever want to come up against ever again. There's like there must have been like eight or nine of them there, and they just demolished everything. They've got a bleed attack, which is the worst thing. And the only thing that I think was good was that it took them a little while to actually be able to hit me. But if they had hit me straight off the bat, I'd say we probably would have been dead. That is not fun. Anyway, what is that? Okay, it's Griffin. Why do you have to be here? Go somewhere else, please. What is... Oh, of course there's more freaking Dimorphs. Why... Where did you even come from? You left your pack behind, didn't you? I don't even know if I want to fight this thing. I don't even know if I can kill it. There's a, why is there another unicorn? Like, can we talk about the amount of unicorns I've seen? I've seen like so many unicorns. Go away. I can't catch a break, man. Just dropping my dillo there. Okay, let's land over here. I can't even do anything. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jurassic Park Pteranodons? Is that a new model that they have? I feel like that's new because its face is kind of different looking. I don't know if that's new or not. Okay, so those things are bad. They, they pick you up and they fly away with you. I'm going to need a parachute. I need to make a parachute. Now, fortunately for me, I have the reusable mod on here which includes a reusable parachute. Um, what is that? Is that a freaking dimorph? My God, it is. I, I'm terrified. Let me, does a bola work on it? I don't even know. I want to kill this thing. <sighs> Dude. Do you have DNA? No. Of course you don't. What the hell, man? Like, god damn it. <laughs> All right, so here's what I want to do. Now I want to go back down and we got to kill that alpha raptor. Um, oh my god, <laughs> this is such a mess. We almost lost the Dillo as well. Like everything's gone bad. I shouldn't have left the safe. Wow, that is super loud. That was really loud. I shouldn't have left the safety of the beach. The beach seemed safe. I should have just stayed there. That would have been smart. But unfortunately, I'm not smart. <laughs> so, yeah, we're uh, 
we're gonna live up there. <laughs> I mean, we gotta figure out some base defenses. I think I might just throw up some turrets once I can make them. I think... Do I have a fabricator yet? I believe I made it. Um, Is he eating my Xenoceratops? Are you kidding me, buddy? Like, are you actually... Why are you like this? Okay, Pteranodon, you need to, like, not be following me. Let's put you back here. Just stay right there, buddy. Okay. Probably should just... I'll pot him, if anything. All right. We're going to try and kill this thing, then. Headshots for the win. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah. We're going to just move all of our gear up there. At least as much of it as I can. I collected a bunch of metal while I was up there because there's a crap ton of metal nodes like down on the plateau that I just built that chest on. But there's also some up above and I believe there's also some down below where we have the chest as well. So like there's a lot of metal around, which is great, which is really what I need. So um, yeah, it's a great spot. Hopefully it's kind of safe though. I didn't see any of that stuff earlier when I was up there. So it's kind of terrifying. Let's see if we can kill this stupid raptor though only like a level 76 so why did that not hit I haven't even moved my mouse at all oh yeah great what is that oh no why hopefully that anki doesn't steal the kill from me it's just a regular raptor but it's still kind of not something i really want to fight that anki is probably going to kill that alpha by the way Not kidding, like Jurassic herbivores are OP. Probably should have bowled him. Yeah, I should bowl him. Oh no, he's not attacking the raptor anymore. Come on. Right, he's dead. There's another raptor over there somewhere, but we gotta try and kill this alpha. What? What is blocking that shot? Is that an egg? That is an egg. Okay. We can't bowl at an alpha, so we just gotta shoot him from here, pretty much. I really hope he doesn't manage to somehow eat the body. That would be bad for us. That would be very, very bad for us. Anyway, we need justice for our Xenoceratops, and we need that trike saddle. <laughs> oh my god. Stupid raptor, man. Like, everything's mean. Everything wants to eat me. We get some tames, and then immediately, bam, just, just dead. Oh my god. All right. Well, at least I managed to get quite a few narcotics and stuff before... Um, so at least we have enough, uh, narcotics to tame another. I missed that time somehow. I guess I might have moved the mouse slightly. Let's see. We should have enough narcotics to be able to make the trank arrows to get another, uh, another herbivore. Amazing. All right, let's go over here and see what loot we get. Hopefully it's a metal pick at least. That would be great. Hey, sweet. Exactly what I asked for. Oh, hello. Lovely. I will go ahead and drop you, and I will drop you as well. And oh my god! Replacement gloves. I'm gonna put that back on there. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. Oh, little... Oh wait, I don't even have a pike. I was about to say a little better than my regular one, but I don't even have one. Sweet. Alright. Let's go ahead and chop them up then. Stupid alpha raptor. Eating my creatures. Ruining my day. And goodbye, Xenozer Xenoceratops. Um, which didn't have a name. Oh, what's attacking now? Oh my god, of, of course there's something attacking. When is there not something attacking me? Or my creatures? Why can't I have nice things? Okay, come on, let's kill this thing. Alright, we can hit him, he can't hit us. This is a good sign. And we have lots of stamina. Come on. That's right. You better run. 
Come on. Almost. Yes. 156. Okay. Get over here and harvest the rest of these guys. Ugh. Rip Xenoceratops. You'll be missed. You shall be missed. My god, I had a lot of Mentor Berries. And I'm gonna grab that thatch as well, just because. Alright, I'm not leaving anything good here. Alright, cool. Let's, uh, let's figure this one out. Oh, what is attacking? Okay, I'm gonna let that... I'm just gonna let that happen. You need to heal. Like, badly. Oh my god. Alright, three into Stam. Wow. Oh, I already got him. I thought I accidentally hit my Tyranodon with that one. I'm not even going to waste a bullet on this thing. Infinite Spears. And you're dead. Amazing. I'm going to chop you up too. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can get some healing going. I need to heal this thing fully. Come on. There we go. Yeah. All right, I think I'll just fully heal it and then we'll head out. Maybe we need to bring some stuff up to the base area, uh, but we got to take it. Got to take a couple trips, I would say. So, guys, I think I'll see you in a little bit. I'm just going to get a lot of this done and then, yeah, we'll come back after. OK, so we're back. And right now I'm just pretty much trying to set up my little area. I need more uh, gunpowder, though, so I need to be like mass producing uh, charcoal because I'm not sure if the volcano. I mean, I could probably go there. I don't know. Uh, this is a really handy way of doing it, by the way. If you have uh, S plus, just use the inventory. Wait, what's this called again? Transfer tool, I think, maybe? I can't remember. Just use that and just transfer a bunch of wood into a bunch of campfires and just basically do that. Uh, it's really handy. You can do it all at once. It's perfect. But um, yeah, at the moment, we're just smelting some metal, but also trying to get a bunch of charcoal because we need more bullets. I'm completely out. Uh, I mean, I could probably use arrows for the moment, but bullets do a lot more damage, especially with headshots. So let me see. Um, we need, let me just grab most of the stuff out here. I need to be just transferring pretty much everything into the chests. Give me that and we'll just drop it again. Okay. Am I close enough? I think I probably am. Cool. So I'm just going to dump everything into here for the moment. Um, all right, where's my mortar and pestle? Uh, there's the smithy. Mortar is where? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to place these on the ground. With S+, plus, you can set it so you can put things directly onto the ground. I don't remember the setting name, but if you just check through all the INI stuff, you should be able to find it. Uh, let's see. So I want to just try and make as much of this as I can right now. All right, cool. So we can make like 80. That's not a huge amount, but it should give us a few bullets at least. Let's see. And we have plenty of metal as well. Um, oh, by the way, we're setting up like a little kind of base spot over here. I was thinking of just building a small building and I think it's pretty good. We got like this really nice view from here. Uh, you can pretty much just see everything. I mean, this is a really, really nice looking area and you can actually see there's like a cool waterfall way over there. I'd love to check that out at some point. I mean, I think it's a waterfall. I don't know. There's like a lake thing up there and there's like a little lake thing down here. So I'm just going to assume that's a waterfall. Now, when I was checking out this map, I believe this area here is very flat, but there's a lot of trees. So I think I might want to actually build my park pretty much on this like plateau. I think um, I'm going to have to just look at the area a little bit more before I make my final call on it. But I don't know. I imagine somewhere around here, we're going to start building the park now. I think what we're probably going to do is um, take it in like stages. So we might just try to like figure out where things are, but also at the same time, uh, we want to be taming up creatures, obviously, because I got to make a little bit of progress in terms of like normal arc stuff. Where are my bullets? <laughs> I think I passed them. Uh, where are they? There they are. Cool. So we can make just a few of these. Let's just pull for 100. We don't really even have that much. All right, cool. So we made like 14. Amazing. Um, so yeah, we got to be like taming normal creatures and stuff like that and getting good carnivores, getting good like utility creatures, but at the same time figuring out how all this is going to work. Um, and I think I really like this spot here because it has like this cool bridge that goes up. I think it'd be kind of nice to put like the 
the front gate there if it's a good area i don't know we'll see maybe we'll go over there and check that out although i did want to just check out some stuff around here just a little bit so let's head down here um okay i want to level stamina on him because we got our dillo down here let me just pick him up really quick and i want to just check out this runes down in this area so let's just dump our dillo there sweet we got rain amazing uh so let's just land our dude down here if it's safe i think it might be what is that is that a megalosaur 162 megalosaur oh damn all right we gotta not go near that thing those things are i mean they're pretty grumpy during the daytime it should be probably easier to kill at daytime i could probably kill it now if i wanted to but i probably i'll save it um let's see we got like a cool cave under here underneath these ruins um nothing in here is there we got silica pearls huh let's grab some of these amazing we should get like an angler fish and put it in here then if the silica pearls keep coming back oh my god what the hell why is there so many i mean i did up the harvest health but not by this much dude that's insane i guess the uh, harvest health being upped along with uh uh, gathering and everything i imagine that probably makes an insane amount of silica pearls in the one spot yeah so this is basically silica pearl heaven i could just use this little pond um as like the main spot to get them for the moment at least let's just grab some air i wonder if there's anything else down here like is there some sort of like hidden underwater cave system that would be cool i don't even know like i literally know nothing about this map and i think that's really fun when we played on um, Crystal Isles with the Jurassic Park mod, like, I still, I didn't know a whole lot about that map either, which was kind of cool. Um, so it's nice to be figuring this stuff out as we go along. I don't think there really is anything in here. It's just the silica pearls. Uh, can we get up there? What is up there? Ooh, I keep bouncing out of the water. Um, we got an explore note. Is there, can't pick those up. Uh, there's green gems here as well, although there's green gems up where I live and I've got like a couple thousand at this point, which is crazy. So we're probably not going to grab any of those. But uh, yeah, this is cool. Nice little runes area. Some useful stuff. Um, I think the fact that it's a runes area kind of like brings you over here. And then you see the silica pearls and then it's perfect. Um, I think I'm probably going to stop after this little pile. We'll get some more after. I don't want to sit here for like 10 minutes collecting silica pearls on cam. But there's a ton more, dude. Yeah, we need an angler fish and we need to bring it in here. Oh, there's another explore note here interesting so there's two cool all righty uh anything else at all probably not cool all right let's uh maybe just head up these ruins and just see if there is anything i imagine there's probably some uh explorer notes up here too oh well we got one right there can i avoid that maybe i don't want to get it right now just there's so many around here uh i don't even understand why um is that another one there yeah that's another explore note there's like four of them here they're all together i don't know why um there's nothing else up here though no no like hidden passages i assume um so let's head back down to our guy that's cool all right well is there anything else around here to explore maybe um you know what i haven't checked out we should go up here and check it out i want to just see what the other side oh wow those metal notes are back sweet they just spawned back in when we were over there, I guess. Um, I want to see... Well, first of all, what do we have up here? We've got crystal. And we've got metal. We've got some rich metal nodes along with some regular ones. Uh, this is something that I want to talk about, actually. I do believe on this map you can pick up wild eggs from several dinos, uh, to be honest. And I think that's why there was like a... We found a wild uh, baby uh, Edmondosaurus, I think, in the first episode, right? So I believe because of the mechanic on this map where you can find wild babies, I believe that's why there was a wild baby uh, Edmondosaurus. Oh my god, that's a... That is a very steep drop. Oh my god, dude. That would be terrifying if you accidentally fell off here. You'd just be smushed onto the ground. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay. That is very, very steep. Um, so yeah, that's that's why there's like a nest up there. I've seen a couple other nests around. I haven't found anything in the nest though. And now I do believe that those nests are from uh, like the actual bird creatures. So, you know, you have pteranodons and you have um, argies. And I do believe that those creatures have the actual nests. And then other creatures around, I think they, you could just find the babies just walking around. But I don't know how many creatures from the Jurassic mod will get affected by that mechanic. 
I doubt that many, to be honest. But, uh, I don't know. It could be kind of cool to just find, like, a baby Jurassic Park Rex or something just flying around. Flying around. Why would it be flying? What's wrong with me? Um, so, let's, uh, let's take a little look around here, maybe. Uh, we've got another tech creature over here. Another tech parasaur. I won't bother killing him, though. Let's check up the top of this right now. It's cool just exploring a little. I'm I'm so glad that we actually tamed a flyer though because this stuff is the worst to do without an actual flyer. Um especially when you got really high like cliffs and stuff like this. Another tech power sword. There's so many tech creatures on this map. We got a tape jar. What the What is that? Why is that shaking? Also there's a spino right there. Why is this shaking? What? Is it like supposed to be windy? That is, that doesn't look right. There's a hidden metal nodes in here though. It does not look right, dude. <laughs> Why is it like, it's like violently shaking. That's crazy. Um, got a bunch more uh, resources around this area here. What do we got over here? another unicorn i think i don't know this map is like broken there's way too many unicorns what is that oh it's a moss chops okay hello little compies maybe fight these compies i don't know if they're not they're not seem they don't seem to be attacking me oh there we go all right never mind let's go over here <laughs> I thought I could kill them all really quick, but I guess not. Um, there's more metal nodes over here and a raptor. Oop. All right. Didn't want to take the damage there, but we did it. What is this called? Uh, Tyranotitan. Okay, cool. Ah! Oh, no, no, no. Okay. What is that? Oh, those are a bunch of little body bags from what though, I wonder. Oh, Rugops. R rug ops whatever they're called huh we should try and get down and grab those if we can just because there could be some dna in them and i do believe the rug ops rug ops whatever it's called has its own uh special type of dna not just the regular dna so i should definitely try and get that if i can i just want to regen the stam first though now i do believe i can use bolas on these raptors but they're also very vicious, so if we can maybe try to move them a little, that would be good. Okay. Come on, raptors. Oh my god. Are they following me? One of them is. Hey. You see me? Oh! No, no! Ooh, ooh. It's so freaking fast, dude! Look at how fast they are! Okay, well, they're attacking other stuff. Let's go back and grab this stuff. Could potentially be a DNA, and if it is, I want it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm okay with the bugs attacking for the moment. I'm gonna grab this stuff. Sweet! All right, we got a good amount of DNA there. 61 and 30. All right, perfect. So that... That common DNA, usually you need a couple thousand of that, and then everything else is usually maybe would need a couple hundred sometimes in some cases. Uh, but all that stuff is useful, so I want to keep that whenever I can find it. We got another nest spot over here. I'm just assuming that the eggs land in the nest eventually, like if a creature's around it enough or something. But every single nest I've seen so far has been empty. Hmm. Let's see. Got a nice little lake thing over here with a giant tree, which I wonder, is that breakable? Oh, look, there's like a little cave or something under there. We should go check that out. And beavers. Oh, this is probably where the beaver dams will be. I don't see. Oh, I think I see one in there. Yeah, there's beaver dams in this area. Okay, cool. Is this breakable? No, that's cool, actually. I like that that's not breakable. You could probably build uh, platforms on that, I would imagine. That's cool. So maybe we can do like, oh, what is this? This is strange. What? This sounds like there's something big in here. There's like a bunch of entrances as well. 
What is that growling? Is that coming from up above? I feel like it might be. What happened to... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess that just kind of counts as a cave, so... The uh, sky unloads. What is that noise from? Oh, hey! That's a Rex. Is that a Rexy? Oh, it's a Rexy. Okay, Rexies can spawn up to... Uh... Oh, what is that over there? Oh, dude, is that a dead Giga? Oh, Rexy, please. Don't attack. I think the Rexies can spawn up uh, to level 210 for me. Oh, <gasps> no! Is That's a baby Zilla! Oh, God! No, this area is bad. This area is very bad. Oh, my God. The baby Zilla is, like, basically just a baby Godzilla. And it's kind of like a Reaper at the same time. I wanted to grab the DNA, but I don't think that's going to be possible if that baby Zilla is camping the body. Also, I don't see the body anymore. I think that bag right there. Uh, if I could see the bag, that would be great. Where is it? There it is. Oh. Hmm. We could potentially try to grab that. Yeah, the baby Zilla is also part of the Jurassic Park mod. Um, don't ask me why there's a baby Godzilla in it. I, I mean, I don't know. I guess the I I know the mod author's name is like Godzilla. So, <laughs> um, let's see. Where is it? There it is. Level one twenty. That's terrifying. Alrighty. Um, well, we want to get some some ending paste while we're here, but I also want to try and grab that bag. It would be great if that raptor stopped camping the the body. What is that? Okay, it's just a dillo. All right. Let's see if we can maybe like land down here really quick. Hey, come get me, ugly. All right. I'm just gonna shoot that thing then. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna spear it to death. Try and get some headshots. Oh, what? I accidentally hit Q. That was a 180. I think I might be able to get this. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Let's go! Okay. Oh, another unicorn. What is with this freaking map, dude? There's so many unicorns. All right. So we got that. What was that? What was that really loud noise that we could hear from down there? It might have just been the Rex. We got to check out the cave down below here, but we also got to try and steal some, some, uh, semantic paste if we can. I'll just grab everything for the moment. And let's grab from this one as well. This is a nice little lake area, though. I would kind of consider maybe building something here. That would be cool. If it was deeper, though, it could be potentially useful for, like, some water creatures or something. That's the only thing. We're going to have to build a park, and then we're going to have to build, like, a, a water section of the park. <laughs> so, basically two parks. Uh, what is that? Uh, what does that say? Oh, aloe. Okay, it's the Jurassic Park aloe. Cool. Let's check out this little cave, though. We never checked this out properly. So it seems like there's a couple little entrances around the place. I imagine there's another over here. Yeah, of course. Um, so it's basically just a resource cave from what I can tell. But what are these? They kind of look like the things from Scorched. Is that an explorer note? It is. All right, cool. They look like the little... Um, they have like bodies and stuff. Oh, dude, there's another explorer note there. My God, this map has so many of them. But yeah, um, those are essentially just like the little tomb things from the Scorched Cave. And one of them, you can see like a bunch of bodies and stuff inside of those. Um, let's see. What is over here? Just more of that. There's a bunch of those cool red trees, though. I've seen stuff like that on other maps. And I assume, yeah, this just leads to the outside. Let's just see if there's anything else in here. There might be some like uh, cave drops or something, potentially. I don't know. Or even just some cool, like, statues, maybe? I don't know. Oh, hey! We got, like, a little water area here with some crystal in it. Any silk pearls? Oh, yeah, we got some there. Cool. All right. Um. Oh, what? Water sounds appearing. Oh, cool! We got, like, a little gazebo. <laughs> Almost. Let's see. We got more explorer notes around. You're not following me. That's good. What is this? Is that, like, an angel? Oh, another explorer note. 
I'm just saying, I'm, I'm avoiding the explore nodes because there's so many of them around and I don't really want to just pick them up randomly. There's another one over there. There's three of them in this area. There's so many. Maybe it's okay to pick them up, but at the same time, I'm not leveling right now, so I don't really see the point. Um, that's cool though. Let's see. Anything else? Doesn't really look like it. All right, well, I mean, this is cool. I mean, I really like little caves and stuff in Ark. This type of stuff is really cool. So let's get out of here, maybe. Um, oh my god, roll, fly, fly. What? Is that him? Was that him making that noise? I don't even understand. Why are there so many unicorns around? Okay, what is that? Is that one of those things? Oh, <gasps> Her Herosaurus, maybe? I want that. I want one of those. Those look cool. I feel like that could be a, a good first tame. Um, I don't think I've ever tamed one before. At least I don't think I have. So I want to maybe tame that at some point or maybe just, I don't know. It doesn't have to be that one, but get one of those uh, soon. Maybe we'll see. But uh, yeah, guys, I think that's probably going to be it for today. I just, I wanted to just do a little bit of exploring. We moved our base spot. We got to do a little bit of grinding around that area, but I got to wait for some trees to grow back because I'm too afraid to like search around a huge amount. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh my God, what the hell just died? What what killed you, buddy? Everything's so mean. Look at this. What what killed him? I think it was a Rexy. It makes a weird noise. I don't remember it making that weird noise. It's like a strange roar, dude. That's a Giga over there. Gigas in this mod are not as bad as they are an actual arc, by the way. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I've got an identical server to this one on my Patreon. I keep mentioning it, but I'll probably stop at some point. Um, so if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and playing on an identical server, then go ahead and check that out. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. By the way, this is actually a zipline, I do believe. So that's really awesome, actually. It goes right across. <laughs>